Good afternoon to you. I'm meteorologist Matt Jones. Happy 4th of July. If you have any outdoor plans, maybe heading to the lake or maybe heading to the pool today, just keep an eye to the sky because we do have that potential for at least some severe weather. It's only a one out of five on the scale, so we're not overly concerned about it. It's a marginal risk, but one or two of those storms for today could produce a little bit of hail and some wind, very similar to what we saw yesterday. So check out future track as we head into the afternoon. Clouds will build and then we'll see those spotty storms developing, but spotty is the key word today. A lot of you probably we won't see much rain. If you happen to get underneath one of these, though, it could produce some very heavy downpours and even the potential again of a little bit of hail and wind. The storm chances, though, will start to diminish just as the fireworks are going off. So I think for a lot of those fireworks displays, we should be just fine, although there still is the chance of a few lingering showers. And then everything kind of dissipates overnight tonight, and we're going to repeat this process over again on Wednesday. So we'll start off dry, clouds will build by midday, and that will lead to some widely scattered storms again for Wednesday afternoon. But as far as the rain chances, really not all that impressive. It's only about a 30 to 40% chance of rain each day through the end of the week. And then those rain chances drop even more as we head towards Saturday and Sunday. And as a result of that, temperatures will actually start to go back up once again. Your hourly forecast, though, for the rest of the afternoon does show that chance of storms. Now, I think this particular uh, graphic is a little bit too aggressive with the storm chances. I don't think we're looking at a 70% chance there. It's more like a 30 to 40% chance as we head through the afternoon. And if we do get a storm, it will briefly cool us off back into the 80s. But for the most part, it's going to be hot and humid. 93 today in Shreveport, 95 Texarkana, 95 Cachada, and in Natchitoches. Uh, so you can see most areas in the 90s. If you do get a storm, though, it could hold your temperatures back just a bit. Here's your fireworks forecast. As I mentioned, as we get closer to that 9 p.m. time frame, the storms will begin to fade away, and then it's just going to be a warm and muggy evening with temperatures holding into the mid 80s. And speaking of muggy, well, it's going to be sticking around for a while. We are definitely locked into this pattern, so it's going to stay oppressive all the way through the weekend and even into next week. Here's a look at that first alert seven day forecast. So 93 for today with those spotty storms in the afternoon. Same deal for Wednesday and Thursday, drier conditions over the weekend, and it's going to stay hot with temperatures in the mid-90s.